This is the Tautronics Sound Liberty 80, and today we're gonna to be doing a curiosity review on it. And you may be wondering, what in the world is a curiosity review? Well, that happens when something I had no idea existed ever before randomly pops up on my newsfeed or my Amazon list as a recommendation. And in the case of the Tautronics, what really drew my eye was this really striking color. Just look at it. And yeah, when you really think about it, that's a really superficial reason to review something, right? But here's my logic. Wireless earbuds are considered modern day fashion accessories along with watches and shoes and jewelry and hats and such. So what if someone came along and said, hey, let's just combine the categories together. And I know some companies have already done that to some success. So if this is done right, it can go places and has potential. But if it doesn't, it's gonna fall flat on its face. Which brings us to the Sound Liberty 80. These are earbuds, in my opinion, that double as earrings, and I'll talk about that in a second. Something that you can pair with your favorite top or dress or even hair color. But what I'm here to find out is, and no, not a how good I look in a dress, even though I probably will, but what I wanna find out is what happens when you actually listen to actual tunes. Is this any good? Are you curious? Well, let's find out after this. <laughs> So at $77 retail before discounts, you get these flashy looking in-ear earbuds that kind of remind me of those 80s earrings. Remember those? Yes, and these rock the rather common Bluetooth 5.0 with support for SBC, AAC, and Aptex audio codecs. And you also get around three hours, 15 minutes of average playtime before they need to be juiced up again. It's kind of below the uh, company's estimate of four hours and also below a lot of earbuds comparatively. But on the other hand, Water resistance is a fantastic IPX8. You can practically swim in it, although they do sit in the year really loosely, so I would recommend against that. The weight is a really light 147 grams as well. We also have mono mode as well as CVC phone call noise reduction. And there is touch controls on board and there's also wire detection and voice control, both of which I wanna talk more in detail in a bit. Here is the case and how the earbuds look together. And to be honest, the case itself is dope. It feels fantastic in the hand. It's nice and compact, very grippy as well. And there's some great little elements that give you the impression of something one or two price grades higher. For example, right here at the front between the body and the lid here, there's a little cutout that's a little gentle cutout where your finger falls nicely into to pop it open very easily. And a hinge right here has some metallic accent. This is something you don't see very often. And something you don't see very often either is this chrome surround around the USB-C port. Really nice stuff. But then we come to the earbuds. Now, let me say something here. This, there's nothing really bad about it per se, but this multicolored piece, while well, nice and all, it looks cheap and the seam line around the sides here make it look tacked on and out of place. It's cool, on the other hand, that the Tautronic designers were able to do this, but the fact that none of their marketing material mentions the design tells you something. So the touch controls are located on the stem with the schematics pretty standard fare with taps anyway, double tap to pause play and all that such. But respect to Tautronics for dedicating the sliding gesture on either side to control say, right side does volume changes, you slide it up and down, or the left side does track forward and backwards. So that's pretty darn awesome. None of that tapping deeper into your ear canal craziness. So I'm popping the earbuds back in now so we can test the lid strength as well as the shake test for the magnets. And by the way, the cavity for the earbud is kind of deep right here as you can see. It's so long and pointy, it's not even funny. It's gonna be hard to clean with, even with a Q-tip, so bear that in mind. So I'm gonna pop this back in. The lid, by the way, is spring-loaded, but even so, it doesn't stay open very well. You know, once I apply any kind of torque or shaking like that, it just closes right away. So that's a little bit of a fail. Now, let me flip this over, keep the lid open and do the shake test and they just fall right out. So the magnets are not super strong. So if you drop them, they're just gonna fly everywhere. So here we are doing the Bluetooth distance test and this very moment is St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day to you. I have some Conan O'Brien needs a friend, how appropriate, uh, podcast on my phone. We're gonna play this and test these uh, earbuds out. And by the way, you can see in the background that the snow and the ice is slowly melting away. I'm kind of sad that the winter is almost over. It's kind of pathetic. But anyways, here's the phone. I'm gonna put it at the end here and we're gonna keep walking around the side, back of my house towards the side and see when these things start cutting out. So these have Bluetooth 5.0, so it lasts us around 30 to 33 feet. Um, and where I'm standing right here is 25. There's the phone. And we're gonna keep walking this way and see when we start hearing sputtering. Okay, I'm hearing breaking up. So yeah, there it's right on the right on cue, it's working. I'm gonna keep walking though until we get a full con disconnect tone or voice or whatever it is. And the lady's voice tells me that it's disconnected. So there you go, it works exactly 
as, as expected. Let's move on to the microphone test and we'll head down to the street to test noise suppression. So, so far, I'll tell you what, I've been satisfied with the microphones on these Tautronics because I read from a couple of reputable websites where they bash on the microphones on these and say, oh, the microphone sucks and the phone call stinks and such. But as you can hear from the samples, right now is a lunch hour, by the way, I'm gonna walk closer to the road so you can hear these better in the sample. But so far, they're pretty good, right? My intonation is there, there's bass. Uh, it's pretty clear, a little bit muffled overall, but it's clear. If you're doing a phone call or any kind um, by the roadside, you're walking your, your dog or a stroller or taking a run, these things are really perform really well. Um, I'm really happy with these CVC. The CVC noise suppression algorithm is doing its job. But that being said, uh, maybe one or 2% of the time, it seems like the algorithm can't catch up and suddenly, I might randomly sound like a max headroom or something, but that's just really rare. And also another thing about wind. Today, right now, is not very windy, but a few days ago I tested these. The wind does get into the venting ports, but it does not affect audio quality or uh, people listening on the other side. So something to take note of. And so I would say nice job, nice job, Tautronics. So what are my favorite things about the Sound Liberty 80? Well, number one is sound. Thank goodness these things rock in that category. Sure, they won't compare with a sound core for the same price because of the lack of an equalizer and an app to tune that. But just by itself, these things are really strong. I really like how great they are in the mids. They're really solid there. There's a decent amount of bass as well. So if you're a bass thumper, you'd be happy to. And there's some clarity in the highs as well. Although I wish there was more detail on all the frequencies. Now, these things, their strength is actually listening to vocals and podcasts. One thing that surprised me about these earbuds is the control latency. It's really good in these ones. Whenever I activate volume up or down or pause play, it almost happens instantaneously on my phone. It's one of the fastest I've ever experienced on any earbud. And one of my favorite things about these earbuds, besides looking like awesome throwback 80s earrings, is that, say if you're listening to your tunes and then your ear gets itchy, you can always pull this out with a sharp end and start like picking your ear and like, oh yes. And hold on, I think I have something in my teeth as well. Like, you know, and just take that and do that. And if you're at a party and they run out of toothpicks or something, you know, for the appetizers, you can always do something like that. And yeah, see, well, there you go. And that was disgusting. That's like frozen potatoes. Pat. Say what you want to say about the OG AirPods and all its imitators with their fixed, non-replaceable ear tips like this one is, but these things are super comfortable. They sit in the ears like just like clouds. I love wearing these. It takes some getting used to after wearing so many earbuds with replaceable ear tips that lock in your ear, but these things, once they sit there, I can wear these for hours and never hurt. Which ironically also brings us to my first negative, which is these things are insecure. As comfortable as they are in your ear, if you're working out, jumping around, running, these things are just not gonna stay in place and fall right out. They also lack any kind of good passive noise isolation, so they let in a lot of environmental sounds in, and that means you have to crank up the volume, which of course I don't recommend. My other issue is that for some reason, Tautronics made their case expensive looking and their earbuds not so much with their shiny cheap plastics and everything because I personally believe their front facing device right here, the earbuds should look better than the one that's mostly hidden most of the time. So here are my final thoughts. For $77, I have a hard time recommending these Tautronics, but when they do go on sale, and they do go quite often, in fact, I got mine for $20 off, if you can get yours for $45 or 50 bucks, definitely get one. Because this is a really competent pair of earbuds, I'm very surprised by it. Well, looks aside, because it's not for everybody, but I think of it as a fashion accessory as well, even though Tautronics probably didn't design it that way. But I'm amazed by it. When I wear this on the street, people think I'm wearing some kind of earring or fashion accessory, and they, I get two reactions, either they're like, Oh, that looks interesting and really shiny-like, or you're so pretty. But either way, it's really a conversation starter. It's really nice. So if you like that kind of thing, if you like also solid sound quality and decent controls, go for this one. The only downside I can see besides the look, which is not for everybody, is the low battery life and also there's no wireless charging. So with all that said, I want to give the Sound Liberty 80 a gear up score of 7.2 out of 10. And this is how I broke it down to get to the final score. If you have any questions about how I got here, feel free to comment down below. 
Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you come back next Friday for a new one. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. If you like the stuff that I do, if you like to see more, just click and mash the button down below, turn on the bell notification icon, tell your friends and family about it. You know you want to. And also, if you're financially able to and willing, please visit my Patreon page down here where you can buy me a cup of coffee or tea or something. Leave me a tip because I run this whole show myself, I fund it myself. Any kind of help would be super awesome. And also remember to thumbs up if you like this video and comment nicely down below. And thumbs down, hmm, thumbs down to eating chili. You know what I'm going to be talking about here? You, you probably recognize it. You're eating chili and, you know, like fresh chili or sriracha sauce or something like that. And when the chili works its way down, down the back, towards the back, and it starts to hurt and burn. Yes, we're going there. When chili chunks like flesh and or seeds get stuck there and they just hold on, it feels like they're holding on. And anything they touch starts to burn. Yes. You're probably saying that's gross, Aaron, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. So thumbs down, thumbs down to butt burn, which I may or may not have right this second. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's all I got. Thank you so much, guys. Remember to have a great weekend. Do something loving and kind for somebody because it always starts with you. God bless. I love y'all so much and peace out. Psh!